I have a very crystal clear image about her as, as a nine-year-old. We were in fourth grade together. We went to the same school. She had short hair back then, till here, straight hair. She had a tinge of brown in her hair, a round Gandhiji looking specs, and that checkered uniform every single day. I think she was a little taller than me also back then. <laughs> Back from school, we were always, I would tease her for something and she would swing a water bottle at me and I would swing it back. Water bottle, I think our kids are gonna end up like that too. <laughs> we all used to laugh at him that, you know, you're gonna get married to her and you wait and watch and he was like, no, no, no. I used to tease her saying, stop doing that, one day he's going to be your husband, and now here we are. This is that ice cold, Michelle fight for that white gold. This one for them hood girls, them good girls, straight masterpieces. Styling, violin, living it up in the city. Got chucks on with Saint Laurent, gotta kiss myself, I'm so pretty. I'm too hot. hot <laughs> Call the police and the fireman, I'm too hot. They used to live in the same building. They used to throw the ball directly in Ruddi's place so that Prajit can go and get it. It was not everyone. It was only him purposely throwing the ball to her house, getting yelled at by the mother, saying, why is the ball every time landing in my balcony? <laughs> Girl, sit your hallelujah. Cause Uptown Punk don't give it to you. Cause Uptown Punk Grade, they weren't in contact at all after that point. Yeah. I think in school he didn't realize probably because they both were too busy fighting. I think once she left for US, that's when he realized that he really liked her. I was in Goa uh, two years ago with my friends and we happened to be on Vagator Beach, I remember. Um, beautiful moonlit night, we were all just having a good time and something just struck up to me and I wrote her name on the sand and my friends they obviously didn't know who she was or where she lived and they asked me who she was and I was like I don't think you guys know her but this is the one I would want to marry if I get married and when I get married. I remember uh, 31st December 2013, Rajit called me, he's like, uh, Riddhi's in town, can you please invite her to my party? And Riddhi had this curfew thing, she's like, no, I can't come, my parents won't allow. So I was like, okay, fine, I'm really sorry, Rajit. And Rajit was like, if it's meant to be, it will happen. So we were always chatting on Facebook and, you know, she, she was going to come to my workplace. And I remember that morning getting ready put on the best shirt I had, put on the best fitting trousers, my best shoes. And I was like, whenever she walks in, I gotta look like I'm doing some work. So I, I made sure I looked busy when she walked in. When I saw her after 10 years, it became real. And my heart skipped a beat the first time I saw her. I knew that the girl that I was following all these years was there and it was true. We met last year. He asked me for to go on a coffee date. So I said, okay, sure. I mean, why not? Stretch 
Finally, I got my shot at taking her out. And yeah, after that coffee date, I think she realized that, you know, what the hell, I'll give this guy another chance. Wow, this is intense. This is where we are today and I'm married to her which feels amazing.